start the recording. Do it, okay. Nerd. I'm just gonna play Call of Duty. I don't know. Man, I started um, watching the anime for Amnesia Memories, this visual novel that I've been playing. It's really silly and stupid because, like, one of the roots is literally just you get Stockholm Syndrome at the end. Dude, I. That's that's awesome. That's a great idea. Is it? I don't know. Uh, you wake up with Amnesia, such as the title. Um, oh, dude, Amnesia the Dark Descent? Oh, if only, dude. Um, it's <gasps> just... Like, I, I need to protect you, so he locks you in a dog cage. The, the, the new Epic Games promotion is you, you fucking pass out and then wake up with Amnesia the Dark Descent. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kyle, why are you so quiet? <laughs> I'm, uh, my mic is like pointed at the ground. How's that? Is that any better? Not even remotely different. What? Um. IDK. But I want to hear you in my recording. Switch to like a webcam mic. I'll be right back. Or like, just be louder. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's play some Call of Duty. Dude, we should totally play Amnesia: The Dark Descent, and you guys can listen to me be scared, and then one of you can have a back in Milky Ways. Oh shit! Nice. Got one. Tango down. This is Bravo X-Ray Charlie Tango 420. We're all in the move. I used to watch Tim the Tapman, and it was really funny because he was playing um, uh, Resident Evil. Like, the, uh, what's, what's the um, Welcome to the Family, son? Oh, Resident Evil 7? I actually yeah. plan on playing that at some point, too. Uh, he was playing RE7. And his fucking sub sound was just like him screaming, holy shit. And it was like really quiet for a bit, dark. And he fucking scared himself with his own sub noise. Dude, that's... Have you ever watched a bro team play uh, Alien Isolation? That's literally... that's You just, <laughs> you just described him playing Alien Isolation. <laughs> I gotta watch the more bro team again. I don't know why I ever fell off. It's been so fucking funny. I love bro team. He's... He's a genuine inspiration for me, which is kind of sad to say. Okay, like I, th like I think I, like the last time I remember actually watching a bro team video before I kind of fell off, uh, he was like kind of bitching about film school. He's like, nobody uses film anymore; it's all digital. And I was like, huh? I wouldn't know. I fucking, I barely record shit on my phone. I don't know. Uh, film has its benefits. I think it's definitely like largely outclassed at this point, especially for the, how expensive it is to make. I don't entirely disagree with him, but it, it was, I don't know, it's just like a really weird thing for me to specifically remember, as is everything with that I specifically remember. You remember the shit I say when I'm hammered that I don't, and I genuinely, like, remember a good 99% of the shit I say. You remember the 1% of shit I don't, I, 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 I'm just Wait, I take it this is a little better, hey? Stop camping. A little better, yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Nice. GG's, GG's. I, I'll be right back. Okay, well, fucking awesome. I don't know, I feel like I'm really good at remembering the really silly and mundane shit of our daily lives. Dude, our Michi Joe? Yeah, dude. Oh! Fuck, this motherfucker shot my brain out. Don Shea, Coco say no Michi Joe. Oh, dude! Don Shea, Coco say no Michi Joe! Wow! And then he, like. Dude, and then he, like, shaves his nipple off. <laughs> he shaves the whole fucking thing off. <laughs> oh, dude! If anybody, if anybody gets the chance, watch uh, the Daily Life of High School Boys. It's genuinely one of the funniest fucking shows ever made. It's an anime, yeah, but I mean, fuck! If you're watching me, you're probably some kind of sick, twisted degenerate anyway. You might as well watch anime. 
Might as well just fucking kiss your dad straight on the lips. Dude, I, okay, so one of the things my co- one of my- I thought you were gonna be like, dude, I kissed my dad right on No! The shut your fucking ass! Listen! Dude, I think you'd be so excited about that saying that. I'm gonna lie. No, listen. So, I work with a bunch we of like- We already know what happened, Jesse. You don't need to like, make it story time. Okay, yeah, we don't so, judge. So, yeah. oh my god, shut up. So, listen! Listen! Are you listening? So my coworker, one of my coworkers, you know, they're all old and fucking old. The one of the uh, every time, like though, I don't even know what brings it up, but sometimes they'll be like talking about something, and then he'll just pop out the good old classic, you know, Mama always said I was a good French ki French kisser, and I'm like, can I fucking help you? Do you want to run that by me again? <laughs> And then, and then, and then, like when it's really bad, sometimes he'll bust out the even super ultra classic. Grandpa always said I was a good French kisser, and I'm just <laughs> like, man, or this is just getting fucking worse. Why is why? <laughs> this is your life. This is this is what I have to live with. Oh, I killed the guy. Man, so Rick Shaft is coming back for Bloodlines 2 for VTM. I'm so excited. Isn't that that song by uh, mm, Death Clock? No, it's the guy who did the soundtrack for the first game. That's what I said. Death Clock. Sure. Oh, it can't be. Sure thing, Jesse, for me. <laughs> so you're telling me you put these guys in boiling hot water, they turn red, shriek, and die. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> That is the most metal thing I have ever heard in my life. High five. <laughs> Clean up aisle six! And don't forget to check out our... <laughs> and don't just get booze. Booze ain't food. It's booze ain't food. I'd rather chop off my own ding dong to say that. Wow, really? you'd rather chop off your own ding dong than say booze ain't food? Do that so, like look. The, look the right. early voice acting sessions for Metalocalypse, like the way they voiced um, Murder Face, yeah, is they would foul. stuff paper in their mouth and put water inside, and, that, and they would speak like that, and that was how they got. That's fucking um, ridiculous. <laughs> I got like really hooked on what what was it like GU cracked wired one of the three where like voice actors would come on and they'd like talk about a lot of their roles and they'd show how they would get the voices and um the guy who would voice SpongeBob the way he would do his lab is he'd like literally like flap his hand underneath his like uh, Adam's apple. I think and, I've like, actually seen that before. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Like, it, I'd never actually thought of how immersive it is to be a voice actor, you know? Dude, like, I mean, shit, the Japanese literally go to fucking college for it, so, you know, yeah. it's, it's kind of, it's, I feel like it's kind of an intense thing, depending on how seriously you take it. I could be a voice actor, but I could literally only play one role, and it's the role of a fucking idiot. Oh shit, I heard a fucking teammate die. Oh, almost shot a teammate. Does anybody know what's happening with this whole Doja Cat being racist thing? I don't keep up with things. I'm just here to laugh at me. I don't know what's happening. I died. God damn it. We are down, not dead. Remember that, boys. Dude, I drank, I had like, I oh got I drank so much, but I just, I don't feel it. I'm too strong. Just gotta drink more. Yeah. I have to hang out with my senpai tomorrow. Uh-oh. Just I'll... go up to her and be like, hey gamer girl, it's your boyfriend Jesse here. Oh my god, she's gonna hear this! <laughs> <laughs> he 
I'm just giving you good advice, dude. Dude, I, now I have to drink so that I'll forget that this ever happened. Just look at that the eye and say, Grandpa always said I was a good French kisser. I'll, I'll tell her that. I'll be like... <laughs> you, you, you really gotta... You gotta see it. Listen to me. You gotta listen to me. Because obviously I am the most uh, flirtatious being on the earth. Um, you need to go up to... What, you're hanging out with Senpai, right? Yeah. Go up to Senpai. Um, you put, like, one arm past your face and you go, Sup, little mama? You listen to Pitbull? Oh, yeah. That's me. Was, was that it? Yeah, that's it. That was the extent of your fucking advice? <laughs> and that has been today's session of incel dating advice. Jesus fucking... And I'll... then you have to fall backwards off your chair. I... Like, yeah, you... Oh man, you know that... Fuck. I fucking Tyler showed me that clip of Too Mad. He's just like... Hey, 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 baby, sorry we didn't get the Skype call. Let's <laughs> head not to bed. It looks like fucking falls backwards. Fucking. Okay. I feel like instead of listening to your advice, I'm just as well off fucking pretending that my foot is a phone and talking into it when I talk to her. Just shit your pants. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just shit my pants. Why not? Yeah, it would show her that you have great flexibility, and who knows exactly. what that means, you know? Yeah, we all know that. <laughs> and if you shit your pants, you're a little freaky, too. Yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm into that now. Hey, damn, damn girl, you you out here watching me shit my pants? Okay. <laughs> you ever see a grown man stick his foot behind his head and then shit his pants? <laughs> Dude, like, what if you could, what if you could, like, shoot your shit? You know how they say shoot your mm. shot? What if they forgot that extra O and they just say shoot your sh Wait, hold on. Shot your shit. <laughs> shot your shot. Shot your shit. <laughs> Dude, fuck you. English is hard. It's not even my first language. I don't know how to spell. Man. Dude, I bet you the fucking audio on this video is gonna sound like absolute dog ass. Are you playing Warzone? I'm not playing Warzone. I'm just playing normal, uh, normal multiplayer at the moment. Mm, okay. Bet. What are you doing, Pat? Uh, I'm playing Terraria. Oh, how is it? That's such a new update, right? Yeah, I mean, I haven't played this game in like fucking six years, mm -hmm. so. Feels a little weird. Okay, I can't really figure out. Let's start the recording. Completely different. I'm about to do my big boss fight against the big giant eyeball. Oh, shit on my phone. oh. I don't know. Uh, if you don't have those benefits, I think it's definitely. Man, so yeah. I started watching some old AJJ tour videos, and I can't believe they used to tour around with an upright base. That must have been fucking terrible. Andrew right? Jackson Jihad? Yeah, God. Yeah, uh, AJJ now. Yeah, no, I know it's AJJ now, but uh, I saw them live. They were fucking dope. It was for uh, it was for the main guy's birthday too, like the day that that you came. Yeah, it was awesome. Everybody, we all sung him happy birthday. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and then I bought an Andrew Jackson Jihad shirt, but it was like a medium because I was skinnier back then. Now I'm a fucking fat fish blob slob, so it doesn't fit me anymore. Dude, I feel that one of the. That's the worst how ways <laughs> you know you're getting older is when all your old band shirts stop fitting. <laughs> Most of my old band shirts still fit because I explicitly got them in sizes up. But um, what I really do get is um, uh, not getting my Mega 64 Sexy 64 shirt. DUDE! Because, um, yeah, that's way, that got way too tight on me to the point where it, it actually suffocated me if I put it on. I have a I have the Mega sixty four uh, Neuron shirt somewhere because I really like the art and uh, I wish. I got their Tetris block shirt still and that still fits me. I like a lot of the Mega sixty four merch. Uh, shout out to Mega sixty four for all the two people that are ever gonna watch this video. Uh, go watch a more successful YouTube channel. <laughs> have you ever heard of Mega sixty four? Small little indie channel. Uh, just doing a shout out. Yeah, yeah, just a, just a shout out to you know the boys and girls over at Mega sixty four. You know they're 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 a nice uh, they're a nice small upstart. You know they they they're they're trying to make it. They're trying to make it. 
Dude, what if that got to Mega 64 and then they gave me a shout out? That'd be hilarious. Could happen. You never know, right? Yeah, I mean, you never know, but I think I'd shit my whole fuck off. <laughs> Would you stick your fucking leg over your head and shit? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to do that. I'd record it and send it to Rocco. <laughs> Uh, Mega 64's Resident Evil 4 skit was uploaded in 2006. Dude, wow. stop. Don't you, don't you think I already feel like I'm gonna die? Why you got, why you gotta hit me with that? Because I just need to remind you guys that you're old so you feel bad and I feel better. Memento so Mori, just... dude. Fuck. Um, 2006 was the same amount of time ago as 2006 was to 1992. Thanks, I I hate math. Appreciate it. Cool. Gold Duggery. I unlocked a skin for my gun by standing still. They have two. Give me some. Give me a fucking reward for being an idiot. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! I so, didn't mean shoot um, me. Uh, Cody, watch that video. Oh, Cody's on mute. Never mind. I was just going back on noise. I'll watch it. Okay. Cody muted himself because he'd be shitting. I was watching Tofu Beats music videos and I forgot that this one existed. <laughs> oh, dude, I can cap. I, I I can cap the flag, boys. I can cap the flag. Oh, well, never mind. I can't believe that the worst so state. Kyle, what? You're showing this to Derek, right? Mm -hmm. I'll send that to Derek. Yeah. Dude, where where Snake? I feel like Snake could liven up the he's on. I don't know why he's not in here though. Oh, I killed a man! Ah, oh, fuck! A man killed me. I sent him a message. Hopefully he joins. Dude, I hope so, cause I I need some I need someone to yell at. <laughs> Unless one of you guys wants to say something stupid, I can yell out. Hey, uh, Kyle, which one which one is it? Which one is the straight man? The Tsukomi or the? No, the bouquet is the idiot, right? I think I left. Oh, fuck you, Kyle. Stop taking three hour shits. Hey, Jesse. What's up, dude? You ever do a handstand in the shower and pee in your own mouth? I'm literally recording this and streaming this. The whole world can hear your fucking. No, I've never done that. I have never once in my life pissed in my own head. Have you ever thought about it? Only because you. You asked me all the time. <laughs> it's an important question. I no. Your mind. Stop. This is vital information. We're gonna need this for your autobiography five years. From now. Okay, yeah. if it's an autobiography, that means I write it. So why would I not just like yeah, choose? Yeah, but you need to ghostwriter for your autobiography because you don't want people to realize that you didn't write your autobiography. So, uh, Pat, Pat and I are stepping in. Uh, we're gonna write your autobiography, Jesse. I will play you in the biopic. Um, Kyle will be the producer. <laughs> Dude, producer Coon? Damn. Don't worry, we'll start it off with Jesse was a simple man. Uh huh. And, I will, we'll, we'll and the end. <laughs> <laughs> he was a simple man, and then he fucking died. The end. Oh, I died. Do not, do not worry, Jesse. We're starting it in Kickapoo. Uh, I would sing it, but I can't, cause 
because it's copyright. <laughs> you assume, wait, are you saying that you can sing it so fucking well that the copyright will detect it? A long ass fucking time ago. No, I can't sing it very well. <laughs> I'll say like the first two lines and, and that's it. Something tells me that uh, Jack Black wouldn't be too concerned about people singing Kick a Poo on Twitch. I, I don't think so either, but you know, you know, still. I'm not I I'm not a I'm not a gambling man. Um, is Jack Black hot? Because I think that Jack Black's kind of hot. Can you can you not can you fucking think for five seconds before you say words? <laughs> smooth brain. Fucking smooth brain, motherfucker, <laughs> lizard brain. God damn. I've never thought before in my fucking life, Jesse. You expect me to start now? No, Jesse's I'm. Move your head and pats on that pen is go burr. No, stop! Don't say weird things. <laughs> Jack Black, dick big. <laughs> How big do you think Jack Black's dick is? I think it's average. Yeah, I think it's about average size. I think he's. I think he. I think he. I think he's rocking a a, a nice juicy six incher. You know what? I would I say I would. Jack Black is a tiny dick. I don't know why, and that's based on nothing. <laughs> I would say that Jack Black probably has like a fucking five-inch dick, but it's it's a fatty. Maybe like, I can see that. He's got that fucking big chub. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's he like is funny because he's like he doesn't have a big enough dick to just like you know go off be and a chat. chat. Yeah. yeah, to be a chat. Um, but he's got enough girth there to, like, be comfortable with himself enough to, you know, joke around a little bit. Exactly. He's, he, he ain't got no cervix puncher, but, like, you know, he's got what he's got. I can't yeah, believe, I, 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 I can't believe I'm gonna fucking upload this. I cannot believe I'm recording <laughs> this. See, see, Jesse, this is why you need an editor. This is why. I, but, but, okay, but I need this to be on because this is, this is, this is the real. This is the realness. Everyone needs to know that. I, everyone needs to know about Black Jack Black's Blackjack. <laughs> wow. Dude. Blackjack by Death Grip starts playing in the background. Dude, I hope this doesn't get to Jack Black and he sues me for talking about his dick. <laughs> no, he sues you! I'm not talking about his... Oh, fuck, I did talk about his dick. You did talk about his Oh, shit. Yeah, Jack Black, please don't sue me, dude. I love I love Tenacious you're D. You're in it to win it, Jesse. Also, Jack Black, if you are watching this, I do think that you're kind of hot. Hit me up. Please, god damn it. I don't want to be involved in this. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be involved in this star-crossed lover romance. <laughs> Jack Black in the school of cog. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a dick. I just died. Black Jack <laughs> And fuck this game. <laughs> I died. Hi, friends. Mm -hmm. I made race. Good, I'm gonna meet my mom. <laughs> I was just about to say it. I invite your friends. They can talk to. I killed a man. Let's go. Okay, I did not kill that. Oh, oh, oh! God, I fucking saw him. I, I saw him use his shit. I saw him. Oh, double kill. That means I got two kills. Ah! Almost shot a teammate. It's a good thing I'm a terrible shot. Yeah, this is this is like a l nice little lull in the conversation where I feel like an editor would be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but alas, I don't know how to edit. It's okay, Jesse. I'll edit for you. Until you can afford to pay for someone better. I literally don't think there's anyone better. Mm, I have I, I've only better. ever I've only ever seen your like 45 second syrup reviews but I don't dude dude I remember your comfy gamer videos and I just like my brain shut down every time I watch them man relax gamer was underrated oh relax gamer I thought it was comfy gamer no it was the relax gamer because it, it was all about being angry and irate at the time so it was just like I was so relaxed there was no commentary until it was the end and it was just like remember to comment rate and subscribe yeah I burned myself <laughs> So they're finally releasing the Snyder Cut, which is funny because it's not going to fix anything. Justice League was a mess from the start. Uh, but everyone's arguing about whether or not it's actually going to be good, and I just think it's really funny. It's like, why do you care? Um, Batman Arkham Asylum was a good game. I never played it. Oh, I got RPG. I saw that motherfucker shoot an RPG at me too. Video games are hard. Dude, I had a I had a burger today for Buffalo Wild Wings, and that shit was the greasiest fucking burger. It was so good. It was like, it was basically eating like a, the physical manifestation of America. So fucking good. Have Sometimes you just gotta fucking feast on your country's flag. I shall devour my countrymen, one by one, and they shall feed me, they shall nourish me, and together we shall take back the holy land of Texas. The holy land of Texas? I don't know. I... I don't know. Do you guys remember the Alamo? I I don't I don't I don't know. Do you remember the Great Bloodborne versus Souls? Dude, <laughs> why? Why do you like this? Why can't you just? Why? Why? Why can't you just fucking let me have something? Why? <laughs> listen, listen. You know there is no joy without pain, Jesse. Okay, but. This whole thing stemmed from... What did this stem from? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what the fuck this came from. I don't. Uh, this this entirely stemmed from you saying that Bloodborne was more satisfying than Dark Souls, and I said it was because you were bad at Dark Souls. So, okay, but you've never I seen... I, asked, I think I asked what was the most satisfying, like, character to kill in a video game. Yeah, and I said, and I said bosses from uh, God of War or from Bloodborne. Yeah, yeah. And I said you only pick Bloodborne because you suck at Dark Souls. Okay, but that's not okay. But that that doesn't work. No, okay, yeah, no. but that doesn't work. <laughs> no, that doesn't. No, because it completely works. The only reason you don't prefer Souls over Bloodborne is because you suck at Dark Souls. That the, okay, but that's not right because all right, listen. No, that's that's the entire uh, mindset to be being a Dark Souls fan, specifically a Dark Souls. Fan. Okay, but that's not how that works because, all right, listen, listen. The reason, okay, I'm gonna explain to you why Bloodborne is is. Do you think that your fucking words are gonna have any effect, Jesse? Like, no, I just losing. This is a losing battle. I just wanna. I died. I keep. I keep dying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up with words, and I keep dying. Bloodborne, good. Dark Souls, not as good, but still good. Oh man, maybe if you practice more Dark Souls, you'd be better than Bloodborne. Oh my god. Yeah. 
You want me to fucking take this to Bloodborne to Dark Dark Blood Nationals? Do it, dude. I love Dark Souls. Dude, did you guys hear about that rumor of Bloodborne coming to PC? Yes. Dude, if Bloodborne comes to PC, I'm gonna become I'm gonna become a hardcore Bloodborne streamer. That's all I'm gonna stream. Damn. Damn, you're really doubling down on this sucking at Dark Souls thing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls Koozie. <laughs> yeah, dude, Dark Souls. We're gonna we're gonna rebrand the whole fucking uh, channel. Do y'all still wanna play Human Fall Flat? Uh, I'm not sure if we were gonna play it tonight, but we were gonna play it. We're yeah, we're gonna play it later. Uh, what are you guys doing Monday? Cause I don't have work Monday, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna skip out because I got offered double time. But fuck that, I'm gonna be a lazy millennial. I'm free on Monday. I got work, but I'm, I get I get off at some point during the day. I fucking hope so. Yeah. We'll see. I have to go hang out with my senpai tomorrow, so I don't think I can really do a lot. But I'll probably come back in the evening and we'll figure something out. I had a teammate just shoot at me, but he missed, so that's good. Probably because he heard you talking shit about Dark Souls. Man, can you? <laughs> my teammate blew my fucking brains out all over a train car. Thanks. It's fucking 1936 all over again. You're good, Jesse. You're good. Shut your fucking <laughs> juicy, succulent ass. About. Jesse. Yeah. What are you screaming about? Who the fuck? Who the fuck knows? I don't. I don't know what the fuck I'm screaming. I just. I just scream. I just yell. I just. This is me. Hi, this is. Hello. Oh, dude, Derek. Hi. What's up? Jesse, Jesse's screaming because I keep telling him he sucks at Dark Souls, and that's the only reason he likes Bloodborne more. Damn. Um. So yeah, it's coming for you. Dude, he's coming for my fucking throat, but Bloodborne is obviously the superior game! He's coming down your throat because of Bloodborne. He's coming down my blood throat, born! Blood throat, born. You heard me, bitch. I love that I like argue. I actually argue with you boys. I can just say something stupid and you do the arguing for me. Yeah, I just thought you might enjoy that music video. I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, just, the, just the premonition. Yeah. Um, yeah. A deadly premonition. Dude! Dude! That's a game I should play on stream! Yeah, you should play that game on stream. Okay. Cool. Cool. I wanna play with you again. I think I'm gonna play Warzone. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one I'm gonna do a run of Warzone and I'll probably fucking end this because I don't know why I'm recording this to begin with. I'll play Warzone with you, Jesse. <gasps> yes. When we find out, um, I'm gonna pirate the visual novel "Please Bang My Wife" and I'll let you guys know how I feel. I don't. Please, 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 so, please, so fuck up my wife. You, <laughs> you fucker, you stick. The only reason I know about that fucking game is because I saw it on the front page on fucking the Nintendo store. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> can you run that shit back? <laughs> yeah, dude. You can buy please bang my wife on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna fucking shit my dick off. Shit. Is this downloading? Oh no. It's yeah, there's a there's a like a there's like a thirty there's like a thirty gig update. Or, uh, okay, that's not a big deal. Cherry tree high comedy club. What? Those are the those are the visual novels you can buy on Steam as opposed to the ones you can buy on the Switch, like, you know, please bang my wife. It's a thing. Oh. I want to be a writer for one of those games. That would be so much fun. Being a writer for a visual novel, yeah. I'd want to be a voice actor. 
Oh! Oh! Sakura Chan! Your, your, your pussy feels so kimochi! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, Taco, Taco Kun, your chin chin is so daisuke. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate everything. Oh my god, Hontoni Bakaja, Hibika, Chin Chinga, fucking Chin Chinga, Daisuke. Just like that, it was cancelled. <laughs> That's it, you fucking suck. <laughs> and speed round of getting Jesse's account deleted. Stop! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna title. I'm gonna title. I'm gonna title this video. Uh, uh, account ban speed run 100%. <laughs> So 100% is straight up getting your account banned. Yeah! <laughs> and percent you can get suspended, and that's close enough, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, th I actually, you know what? I bet you that fucking 100% uh, is getting, like, violating every single rule of Twitch. Yeah. Damn. I don't even have a cam though, so fuck. I got a cam to 100%. Okay, this is the any this is the any percent speed run. Um, yeah. Just mm. like actually to get banned from Twitch is um you can go walk around town in an IRL stream, uh get mugged, and there you go, you're banned from Twitch. You're fine. I probably yeah, won't get mugged because yeah, I'll there's, there's, I'll just fight there's, there's whoever if you got mugged during an IRL stream on Twitch you got banned for inciting violence. I'll uh I'll probably just wind up doing like a Yakuza IRL fight stream and then get stabbed. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, you do dress like a super villain. I dress like a fucking thug, dude. Yeah, uh, I went, I went with Nexachan. The weather machine to destroy the earth. I I went with Nexachan to the um to the shooting range, and she was like, "You look like a a cholo," and I was wearing I was wearing my black tiger uh shirt, my uh, Tojo clan necklace, and like jeans and some fancy boots. She's like, you look like a cholo, and I'm like, man, fuck, I'm offended. I'm trying to look like a fucking Yakuza, and you're over here telling me I look like a cholo. I bet you the sound in this video is going to be so fucked up, dude. Yeah, dude, you didn't even quality check it, did you? I did not quality check this shit at all. There's no QC on this at all. If anyone complains about the way this... Hey Darren, um, time isn't real. I just wanted you to know that. Dude, that's a Darren? That's a Darren. Darren, say hi, you're live on the internet. I heard him. I he Yeah, I heard him, but I don't think my inner, my computer picked that up. Oh, uh, that would explain it. What'd he say? Oh, it's not his real mic because his mic's not plugged in. Soka, soka. He's speaking to us on um, astral projection. Like, mm -hmm. He's speaking to us he's from the beyond realm. The okay, so I'm playing Warzone and I'm going to get my ass absolutely fucking clapped. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to sneak around in Warzone. Clap of my ass cheeks. <laughs> Players. Colonel. Trying to sneak around. But the sound of my massive ass cheeks is fucking. 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 I don't know. I used to do a good snake impression, but. I don't think. I, I think I stopped smoking cigarettes too much. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me rethink that statement. You sound louder, Darren. 
Yay. I was, oh! soul, I was using the mic of my soul before, but now I'm using my physical. Why is your soul so, so quiet? Uh, well, because it's kind of far away from my mouth. It's a fair point. It's in my belly. That, mm. I thought your soul was in your asshole. Fucking idiot. No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the asshole. Yeah, that's yeah. the asshole. I'm gonna kill all of you literally at the same time. You can try, but the power of my asshole will defeat you. Your asshole is bullshit, dude. That's fucking- that's bullshit blazing, dude. Yeah, it's like, you know in Utena where she like pulls the sword out of the girl's chest? It's like that, but with my asshole. <laughs> God, I- I'm gonna power bomb the shit out of literally all of you at the same time. I'm just moment. like, yo, take my revolution, and I pull a Naginata out of my ass. So I got a question for you, Darren. How can the song of the day exist when time isn't real? Uh, that's very simple. You see, pushes water over and runs. Out of <laughs> 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 uh, uh, oil? What the fuck? What the fuck? Have you said anything, said anything about oil, bitch? You cook it. <laughs> see, that's a very bold claim that you'd go after the time part when music isn't real, Cody. Oh yeah, dude, music isn't real. Like, yeah, it's just sound. And yeah, I mean, you shit. Have you know that that's real? Have you ever I even ever? Real. Have you ever even heard music before? I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. How could sound be real when OBS exists? So That's a goddamn fact. The only the only place where sound is real is in your cloud. Mm -hmm. Oh, SoundCloud! And we're not there yet, so. Yeah. It'll be quite some time before we can live in the clouds. I gotta. I have an anime truck in uh, battle in Warzone. I have an anime car in GTA. Well, after yeah. uh, Bill Gates gives us the coronavirus vaccine, all of our brains are going to be uploaded to the cloud. Oh, so. I can't wait to finally listen to music. <laughs> Dude, if I if if the SoundCloud virus vaccine ever becomes a reality, I just hope that it makes it easier to buy potato chips at my local um, Johnson's Giant Green Foods. I call this store Big Johnson's, but it's called like Giant Johnson's, and I genuinely can't call it anything else but Big Johnson's. Those are both good names. They're great names. It's called Johnson's Giant Food Store or some shit, but I always call it Big Johnson's. So I'll like show up to like work and be like, oh dude, I got some fucking apples from Big Johnson's. And they'll be like, from where? Big Johnson's, bro. You fucking never been there? That star has BDE, Big Department Energy. Dude, it's got Big Johnson energy. I just strive for a little Big Johnson energy, you know? Yeah, I, I, I enjoy having a little Big Johnson. A little Big Johnson? <laughs> Killer app for the PS3, little big Johnson. Yeah, uh, coming out, uh, 2020, 2024. Hey, Darren, what video game are you gonna play? Uh, I actually don't know. Mm, the struggle. I've been yeah. sitting here all fucking night not doing anything. That's kind of what I've been doing. A little bit. I, I've been playing Call of Duty and I'm recording and god this is the worst footage I think I've ever gotten of a video game Fuck yeah, dude I'm gonna upload it too because I don't want to go. I don't want all of your guys's beautiful voices to go to waste Oh, I, I was assuming that was why the your footage was so bad No <laughs> You guys are basically the fucking one saving grace I have of this game this guy fucking killed me. This guy shot my goddamn brain out. I'm so bad at video games. To the gulag! I'm in this bitch. We in the gulag. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, oh hey. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, we got the kilo. We got the kilo 141. Task Force 141. Man, you guys never think about the fact that Lara Croft sacrificed her mother to save you? Like, once or twice. It's just like my favorite lore fact about Tomb Raider. She that did it. That and apparently the fact that her triangle boobs gives her character. Mm. It was a. Uh, I died. Uh, it was I an accident that. though, right? The Satan thing, like allegedly. What's your What's your definite What's your um, definition she, of an accident? She like, uh, 
uh, she, I don't know why her mother was letting her explore dangerous ruins without, like, you know, any other supervision, so mm -hmm. really it's the mother's fault for negative. That's not fun. Oh yeah, because she was, like, eight or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then she accidentally sacrificed her mom to Satan. Yeah. How did she get out of that temple? I have no fucking idea, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I played the game and I still don't know. Well, maybe Satan helped her out. <laughs> Hail Satan! Hail Satan. Hail Santa. Oh, I love Santa Cruz. Dude, oh. one of my favorite things ever was there was this dude that I used to listen to who would do, like, um, basically opposite genre covers, like, a smooth jazz enter Sandman, Bossa Nova, um, Ace of Spades. Sandman sounds lit, dude. That's what Enter Sandman. That's what Enter Sandman. He, he did a Radio like. Disney version of Demigod by Behemoth. <laughs> and so yeah, I was like, instead of Hail Satan, it was Hail Santa, and I just love it. Hail Santa. Uh, to everyone, Hail Santa. To everyone <laughs> listening to this right now, I if you, I think you'd actually really like the uh, fucking. Hold on, hold on. I'm busting out the. Uh, the viewer disclaimer notice for the umpteenth time. If you're watching this and the audio sounds bad, I literally don't know what the fuck to do about it because I don't want to know what the fuck to do about it. So I hope you're enjoying this. Please remember to follow Tech and Kuzu on YouTube and on Twitch. Very important. For more shitty audio. Yeah, for more shitty audio, follow my YouTube channel. If the audio sounds yeah. bad, just get a better sound card. Yeah, if it's literally, it's not even my, it's not, it's not even my fault. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, if you if you hear if you hear bad audio mixing, that means you need a better graphics card. <laughs> Make sure you go out and buy the new brand new RTX uh, seven four twenty. Uh, now on Newegg.com. Aw, oh, unfortunately it doesn't have the vocals. I can't find the full version with the singing intact. Oh, no, it has the vocals. It's just, like, a lot further in. I skipped forward because I was uh, looking for them. Yeah, hmm. there's tons. I'm not even going to check the audio for this video. I'm just gonna upload it, and you guys have to deal with it. Damn, really YouTube has been there with the... I only think I have like two <laughs> I think I have like two subscribers on YouTube, and I think it's one of you guys. Yeah, I subscribe to you, I'm pretty sure, Jesse. Yeah. Thanks. I do appreciate it, like, I'm not even trying to sound like a little, like, salty bitch, like, I do appreciate it. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I appreciate every subscription I get and every follow I get on Twitch. Is that a real Russian dude fucking watching this? What? Oh, I'm kidding. That's mean. That Russian dude who likes you. You mean the German guy? Oh yeah, the German guy. I don't know. Russian German. What's the fucking difference? Dude, the German dude, guy wow. is Ki the German guy is Kidoku. He's a fucking hustler, dude. Yeah, dude. Protect Kuroku at all costs. I'm sorry, Pat, but I have to come over to your house and pants you now. Yeah, dude, nice. Kidoku's a fucking. That's honestly not that bad. Whenever I say something bad, Cody's <laughs> gonna shit on my deck, and you just get pants. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but that's a little sensitive topic right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, Kidoku, Kidoku's a hustler. He's he's been here since like day seven or something. What a fucking champion. Yeah, Kidoku's a fucking G. I hope he watches this. I don't know if he subscribed to the YouTube channel, but I hope he is so he can watch this. Ooh, the phone's ringing. Let's pick it up. I don't understand Russian, you fucking ding dong. <laughs> okay, so I have an LMG and I have an SMG. Do you know what that means? That means. Uh. 
Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> ah, so, so ka, so ka. Naruhodo. Naruhodo, naruhodo. Ah, mo, mochiro da. That's a lot of milligrams. How many? Oh, so I got the Ace oh, of Spades. plus M. And uh, the Iron Maiden uh, songs mixed up, but there's a Bossa Nova Trooper by Iron Maiden. It's pretty hype. Do you guys ever watch that video of that guy doing the trooper, but like it's with his hand farts? <laughs> no, I'm serious. That sounds like it would be really hard because the trooper's like. Yeah, no! This motherfucker lit, like, fucking lights his hands on fire, like, it, but they're hand like, farts. I just put my hands together to go try it, and then I was like, wait, that's, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fucking insane. This guy's a lunatic. He's a legend. Okay, so there was definitely some guys walking through this area. Because uh, a bunch of the windows are broken. So, using my incredible detective skills, that tells me that uh, we're not alone. Is Warzone? That's like the uh, Battle Royale one, right? Yeah, it's free to play, by the way. Oh, seriously? Maybe I'll try oh, it. Shit. Dude, if you if you get it, we can play trios. Me, you, and Kyle. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? I'm installing it right now. now. I haven't played Battle Royale in long enough that I'm willing to play it again. Okay, well, yeah. it's Call of Duty, what so... Are we like... about? Uh, Warzone. Oh. Is it on Steam? Uh, no, it's through the Blizzard. Of course. Oh, through, like, Battle.net? Yeah. Do I have Battle.net? I think it's, like, 100 gigs for Warzone. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Lamel. I don't even know if I have Battle.net installed still. Yeah, I uninstalled it. I only have it for War for uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> oh man, when Blizzard cut Cody uninstalls the, the app. There's a fuck, there was a car over there. I wanted to shoot him, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna sit in here instead. Oh my god! I have to pee! Shit! <laughs> Time for toilet RTA. I can't. I'm too busy. I'm busy. I'm busy, uh, fucking. I'm busy walking around. I'm busy stomping around Tokyo City like a big playground. <laughs> Went out of the blue. God, that's a. Blast from yeah, blast. Right yeah, yeah. That's your that's your uh, hourly nostalgia from your boy, Darren. I want you to also listen to that Motorhead one because it's like it's like what if Motorhead was like a Final Fantasy boss? It's oh, that is a, sounds that awesome. on yeah, that <laughs> honestly sounds fucking dope. I think I want to listen to that too. Okay, so we're like at the we're like at the edge of the circle. So um, I think it's like a good. I think this is a good time to ask you guys the Tekken Kuzu stream question of the night. Ooh. If if you had, if you guys had, um, so let's say like tomorrow morning you woke up and it turns out you had accidentally invested into. Um, I don't know, like a uh, Chinese finger trap devices, and you became a you became a gorillionaire <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay, Darren, uh, onto you. You just became a gorillionaire. What is the mm. first thing you do with your gorillions of dollars? I'm just thinking about like a gorilla made of money right now. <laughs> uh, the first thing I do is find a way to get rid of enough of it that like. People don't fucking hate my guts. Too yeah. late. I hate you already. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I think I think I think friendship ended with Pat like before you could even do that. 
the very first thing I do with my Gorillion Dollars is probably, uh, um, buy a new fridge. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, very, very, like very... a water dispenser and, like, an ice dispenser and stuff in the front. Okay, very, would, very, would, very small, would, very small dick energy. I would love a new oven, like, one that's flat top. I love flat top. Okay, uh... You guys uh, didn't get any bling or anything? What yeah, yeah, appliances, <laughs> appliances are very small dick energy. Uh, Kyle, what would you do with your gorillions of dollars? Dude, I got a big fucking chain that says E-Boy. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, okay, what if I got a pendant that just had Comic Sans written in circles? Oh, yeah, a big chain that says Comic Sans in Comic Sans. Yeah. And then That's every time really I saw smart. you, I'd be like, oh, dude, I love Undertale. <laughs> and then every time I, I, I see you, I give you a hundred dollars to shut up. <laughs> Patrick, Pat, what would you what would you do with a gorillion dollars? Um, I'd probably invest it in the research of making anime real. Oh, yeah, what a that's fucking a that's that that is something I can 100% completely get behind. Give me Honestly, if I had a gorillion dollars, I'd just pay Danny DeVito to like humor me for as long as that money. Oh, would I would, yeah, yeah. Paying, I scratch my ass, or I want Danny DeVito to be my best friend. Oh, actually, I, I have I have a better one than my boring one, Jesse. Can I okay. go again? Yeah, yeah, go r run that shit back. Uh, I, I find the guy that. If he's still alive, which I sincerely hope he is, who is the announcer in Halo 3, and I pay him to just follow me around. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, I put my food in the microwave, and he's like, microwave. Oh, would he be the countdown? <laughs> yeah, it, when it got to like five seconds, otherwise it'd be annoying. But when it got to like yeah. five, five, four, three, and he would two, warn you before one. it gets down to one, food so you could ready. stop it you know, in time. Yeah. Yeah. That's so you I don't mean. have to listen to the annoying beeping? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but what if- be like Oh, oh that's so heartbreaking. That's so heartbreaking. Jeff Steitzer, the guy who voices the announcer in Halo, was told mm -hmm. that he was going to be Master Chief when they gave him the position. And then he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, damn. He got ripped off. Oh, oh man. man. That, that hurts my heart. That's like that's like the fucking Darth Vader scenario. Where yeah, they it's got really the Darth Vader, Vader scenario. <laughs> Okay, but to be fair, if I can honestly be fair, I remember the announcer's voice more than Master Chief's voice. If yeah, I can actually, when I uh, was playing through some of the Halo Two campaign again, now that it's in Master Chief Collection, I was like, "Wow, Master Chief really sounded like that, huh?" Yeah. Like I kind of just remembered in my mind that he didn't talk. Yeah. And when he I talked, I was that. like, "Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if I like this." <laughs> Yeah, he is still alive. Good. Well, he's gonna get a gorillion dollars from me once I oh, yeah. invest in those Chinese finger yeah. traps. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot why you got a gorillion dollars, and when you said that, I thought it was. When you said that, I thought it was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Guys, Jeff Seitzer is gonna turn 69 this November. Hell That's yeah, such a good dude. age. I wish I could turn that on. That's the sex number! Yeah. Yep. I had to just get that across to you guys, just to make sure you mm -hmm. guys understood. Oh, I, I forgot. I actually had yeah, the sex number. Wait. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, Jesse, what, what does that even really mean? Like... What? Can you explain that on stream for no me? No one really knows. We just yeah, know it has to do with sex. What? I've never had sex in my life, so I really need you to explain to me what 69ing is. Also, what is sex? I thought it actually wasn't real. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Um. Yes! I won the gulag! So, 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 sex. So sex is when a mommy and a daddy love each and other. My mommy and my daddy. <laughs> so when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, they trap each other inside of a Russian uh, Arctic prison, and they oh. they gather illegal weapons sold to them from a black market dealer in France, 
And then they shoot each other, and then a baby comes out. Did you guys really wow. not know this? You guys are fucking lame. I do. Weird, because some dude on the playground told me it's when you stick your pee pee in a woman's vagabond. That's fucking icky! Girls are gross! I thought sex was hand holding. Oh yeah, that oh, actually, that's even that, worse. yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's that's pretty how you gross. Get cooties. Guys, I'm gonna fucking throw up right now. Yeah, like... please stop arguing about fucking handhold. I out really when I when I, when I yelled just then, I really hurt my throat. <laughs> 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 so let's let's do let's do a quiet a quiet uh, rest of the podcast, okay? Let's do okay. Some Here's a fun you... question. <laughs> If you ask me if I've ever peed on my own head again, I'm gonna like ban you. No, oh, no, this one's different. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, Darren. Um, I think you might be interested in this thing. Oh, there's this guy I'm friends with on Twitter who does like game dev work, and he made a little neat tank game. Ooh. That you can buy for a dollar. Just a cute little tank game. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Alright, are you guys ready for stupid question time? Yeah, hit me yeah. with it. Oh, yeah. What's the most pointless superpowers? Uh, the oh, most pointless man. superpowers? Um... See, I was thinking being able to turn all of the bones in your fingers soft. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Can you turn them hard again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, also, I was thinking you couldn't. <laughs> also, an another one, which is kind of in the same vein as your idea, Darren, is just being so permanently blind at any time. <laughs> Dude, these are... See, these... When I started thinking along this track, my mind just immediately went to die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> these are... These are all... These are all things that happen if you stick your body parts into a microwave. <laughs> um, um, I have a good one. I have a good one. Uh, the ability to turn any drink you touch lukewarm. <laughs> That's a good one. Holy shit. And I it's had uncontrollable. One. Last night I had another one where any drink you uh, touch immediately becomes flat. Oh, that's pretty good. Too. What if it's water? What happens to the water? Nothing. Double it's flat. no water. <laughs> Okay. Flat um, water, you well, sell it at a high then, then it turns into lukewarm water, and lukewarm water is weird. Another is. fun one would be having your skin be denim. <laughs> oh, I like I, that. I, I hate Isn't this. Isn't there a I... dude in uh, Macadamia that's like that? <laughs> yeah. Except, well, he can, like, control denim. Yeah, He's not like... just made out of denim. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, having your belly button be a tiny little mouth. Mm. I really, really hate That's this. That's really awful. Okay, so imagine uh, the magic mirror from Disney stories, and it's just on from some Yu -Oh? belly button. And so it's like magic mirror on the wall, and it's just a dude shaking his belly button in front of you. This was Things with your fingertips, <laughs> like a fly. You can do what? Taste things with your fingertips. That would be kind of fun. I would hate that, honestly. It would yeah. be fun until you started having to do anything with your hands that wasn't yeah. touching food. You would taste oh, so many yeah. cooking stuff. would be pretty miserable. Dude, I bet you if I touched my mouse and keyboard, it would just taste... Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to fucking think about. It. I I would have to. I would li I would have to taste metal for ten hours a day. That sounds fucking miserable. That also sounds pretty punk rock. Imagine typing. Yeah. It would be like just rapidly smacking your tongue. How about this? You 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 disregard all the electronics and you become a masseuse. Mm. Then you could Ooh, taste that way when you mods. Yeah, when you're fucking massaging somebody's back or you have a foot fetish or something, okay. you're like, Madame, your toes. Someone comes in with really <laughs> bad back knee and you just have to deal with that. What if, what if you're weird and that gets you off or something? Well, exactly. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, so if, if you have a mechanical keyboard that's really nice, does it taste like gamer fuel? Uh, it does if you pour gamer fuel on it. 
Yeah, so you can get some G fuel, pour it on your mechanical feet because it's nice and good. <laughs> and uh, you know who tastes like it. I'm so <laughs> Just like have a cup full of G fuel on stream and dip your finger in mm, thirst clenching. <laughs> I'm so tired of all of you right now. My my fucking soul. It's like, um, it's like those uh, it's like those sponge dabbers that some cashiers used to have before you know it was. Figured out that that was disgusting because money's just. Oh, out. I have a, I have another superpower that's really good. I yeah. fucking doubt it. You can churn any like uh like produce like food product into the off-brand version of itself. <laughs> Dude, that sounds dope as shit, though. <laughs> Think about all the money you could save. You touch a tan of Dr. Pepper and it turns into like Dr. Rock. <laughs> It's the opposite of saving money, Jesse. You turn it into the shittier version. No, okay, but you could go to a store and, like, turn a bunch of Coke into Dr. Pibb or... I don't know you what You can't the... turn it back. Yeah. Wait, no, I thought you said... I thought you said you could turn the good into the... into The normal into the off-brand. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you'll go. So you. So you'll grab a bunch of cokes or something, and they'll be like, "Hey, does this?" Then you'll go up to the manager. You can be a Karen and be like, "Hey, does this fucking taste like Coke to you?" And then they'll taste it, and they'll be like, "No, that tastes like RC Cola or something." And then you can be like, "Yeah, why the fuck is it in the Coke bottle?" And then you can get your. And then you can get it discounted. Yes. So then you save even more money. I don't even gotta talk to the manager. Yeah, but you can you can force an over surplus of RC Cola at your local grocery store so they all go on sale. Start, <laughs> you boys better start getting rid of those finger lock stocks and start buying RC Cola. I'm fucking going on a rampage. This episode's gotta be called Jesse Buys Chinese Finger Trap Stock and makes a gajillion dollars. Alright, that's what I'll call it. <laughs> you can turn Chinese finger traps into finger grabbers. I was just gonna call it Chinese Finger Trap. Chinese, uh, Chinese Finger Trap. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Chinese Finger Trap. <laughs> Dude, what this is this is like there? this is like an hour long already. I don't even know what the fuck we talked about this entire stream. A lot. It's been pretty pointless. Well, good. Yeah. I really, I really like us just talking, regardless of what we talk about. It's content, dude. Anything's content. Mm -hmm. That's the beautiful thing about um, uh, unlimited like YouTube storage. <laughs> Your mom's content. <laughs> um. Huh. Technically, I'm my mom's content. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm also my dad's content. <laughs> my parents were dead shit posters, clearly. I don't hate to say it, uh, I'm not even a human being. I was actually brewed in a witch's cauldron with Ooh. a variety of shit. Bubble, bubble, oh. oil in trouble. <laughs> my tiny little bubble. <laughs> Cocksucker! <laughs> you guys have your next one. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> Just thinking about witches. Nice. I like witches. Yeah. They're pretty hot. They're pretty cool. You guys yeah, ever you, you guys ever fantasize about Bayonetta shooting you in the head? Bayonetta oh. never done anything for me, honestly. Same. No, she doesn't have to do anything for you. I'm just saying, she. You ever think about her shooting in your fucking head? She looks yeah, like a cheap but bitch. But if I wanted someone to shoot me in the head, I'd at least hope to have a boner while that happens. Yeah. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm fucking letting this happen. Bayonetta looks like she knows the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> No, she looks like she pretends to know the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, she's like a hipster librarian that actually doesn't work at a library. She just kills people. You guys no, hear about the Bayonetta glasses incident during development? No, I haven't. There was a bunch of, like, 
focus testers and I think like some of the producers too that are like I don't think she should have the glasses it's like not a good look and Camille was like I ain't taking off the glasses <laughs> and Camille's such a fucking baller dude it really is alright well fuck me <laughs> I don't know why would people think she shouldn't have the glasses though she